Hey everybody, this is Doc, and I want to show you a trick that uh, I've been working on with my team for um, building shaker pages. What I, the what we've done so far is um, a VA creates the basic shaker page, so she'll create the title and she'll create the text that goes in, you know, the text that's going to be visible. Um, she'll put in the short codes for things like uh, random posts and, you know, the map and the, um, the video and uh, what's the other thing? Oh, weather. Um, she'll do those kinds of things. But I told her, because Andres has said you, you use, um, you know, duplicate content without a problem, I told her to just look for something that was on page one or page two for the main keyword that we were looking for and just grab it. But then I showed her a Chrome extension and I don't know that this extension is on any of the other um, browsers, but I'll leave that up to you when I, when I show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pretend that we're doing a, um, a site on business schools. And you can see I've already looked down here because we did this one earlier. Um, I finally settled on this article right here. Checked out a couple of these, but they were um, they were posts that stretched to multiple pages, and this doesn't really work with um, that type of content. So we're going to go to poets and quants, and you'll see here. Here's the article. Um, you know, you, you would scan it and just make sure that it was a decent article. Um, it's a little short, but you could always add to it if you wanted to. And then what I do is I go up to this extension. Now, this extension is where this leaf is. It's called Clean Print, and it's all one word. And once it's installed, you simply click this button one time when you're on the site, and it goes out and it grabs just the post content, right? And it builds it in, but what I really love about it is it's got this editor. It's just amazing. Like you can go in and you don't want poets and quants name in there, obviously. Um, you don't want the author's name. You just ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me start over again, guys. I don't even know what I did. So you don't want you don't want the poets and quants name, right? X out of that. Go down here to the guy's name. Get rid of the author. I don't need the uh, photo, um, but whenever you hover over something, it will highlight it um, specifically, and so you can get rid of those things that absolutely should not be in your final product. Like I don't need this thing on Business Week's recruiters, so I'll get rid of that. And then when you're done, basically all you do is click this text button. And it will create a very nice uh, word file. Pull the word file up. And here you go. For me, I have to hit enable editing. I'm not sure what that's all about. But basically, you know, there's your content. And you just literally, um, you know, just select all or, you know, go down and select what you want. And, um, paste it right into your shaker page it goes by you know quick you can't really